Hey everybody, it's Julian of Flow Graphics here and today I'm going to show you most of the basic tools of Photoshop. So this is how to use Photoshop within 5 minutes. So let's get straight into it. Now once you have Photoshop open, you can just hit Ctrl N to make a new document and then we can just change all of our document settings within here and then we can just press OK to make a new document. Once you've made a new document, you can simply double click on the background layer to make it into a new layer that you can actually edit. There's some shortcuts which are really, really helpful when it comes to your layers panel. Control J duplicates a layer and then Control E automatically merges the layer with the layer uh, beneath. Otherwise, if you select multiple layers and hit Control E, it will merge them all together. Control G makes a group and then you can make multiple layers within that group. And then you can also hit Control E on a group and it will merge all of the layers in that group. To import any photo into Photoshop, you can just simply click and drag it into the scene. And then you can just click and drag the corners of the image to scale it. Otherwise you can hold Alt and then it will scale it from the center outwards and then you can hold Alt and Shift and it will uniformly scale it from the center outwards. And then you can also right click, you can rotate the picture, flip it, do all sorts of other things as well. And then if you hold Control, you can then skew the picture and change perspective and the angle. You can also hold Control and Alt and then it will change this on two axes as well. Just to confirm or delete the changes, you can just simply hit Escape to get rid of the changes or you can just hit enter to confirm the changes that you made. If you can't edit a layer, that's probably because it's not rasterized. If it has this little icon here, you can just simply right click on the layer, hit rasterize layer, and then you can duplicate it, you can merge it and do whatever you want. You can also hit Control U on the keyboard to go to hue and saturation. Here you can change the color of the picture, the saturation, and the lightness. You can also hit Control I to invert a picture. If you want to add any sorts of effects such as blurs and distorts and things like that, we can just go up to the word filter on the top bar here and then we have this drop down menu here of things like the blur gallery, distort, pixelate, sharpen, all sorts of effects. So if I just quickly add a Gaussian blur to this and hit OK, you can see it adds a blur. You can also hit Control F to reapply the last effect that you used within that gallery. So if I keep hitting Control F, you can see it just adds more blur on top of the previous one. And this also works for mul multiple effects, so if I go to distort, and then add a spherize, hit OK. Then I can press Control F again and then it'll reapply that spherize. So whatever you use last, it will reapply that. All of the color correction and color changing options you'll find in the adjustments panel. You can just go to window and then adjustments to bring up the panel and then you'll see it here. Here's where you can change your brightness and contrast, your levels, your vibrance, your color lookup, gradient map, all these sorts of things. A really common thing a lot of people don't know about Photoshop is the vibrance. Uh, the difference between vibrance and saturation and saturation increases the saturation of all the colors in the image. Vibrance increases the saturation of all the colors besides skin tones. So if you want to make an image look a lot more vibrant but not make people look orange, then turn up the vibrance instead of the saturation. If you want to add text or any sort of effects or type to your image, uh, you can click T to go to the type tool and then you can just simply start typing. I could just type in my name here. Once selected that text just by clicking and dragging, you can change the color. And then if you hold control and click and drag over the font size, that dynamically changes the font size as well. And then up in our top menu, whilst uh, selected our text, we can change the font and all those other sorts of options as far as the spacing and the alignment and everything. And simply just double clicking on the T of that layer selects the text for you. You can also add layer styles to any layer in Photoshop simply by double clicking on the right hand side of the layer in the open space. And then you basically add effects that only apply to that layer. So I could add a gradient overlay to my name here. I could select different gradients like that, press OK. And that only applies to that layer. I could also add a drop shadow and all, all sorts of other effects as well. It only applies to that layer. And then I can right click on that layer. I can copy the layer style and then I could right click on another layer and paste that same layer style on top of another layer as well. Then you can just right click on any layer and then click on clear layer style to remove all the layer style settings. Otherwise you can click on the little drop down arrow and then just turn off the eye for the effects so you turn off the visualization of those effects. If you try to erase a text layer it won't work because it's a text layer and you need to rasterize it. So to rasterize it just simply right click, click on rasterize layer style and then you can just hit E on your keyboard and then you can start erasing any layer once it's rasterized. In Photoshop there's things called layer masks which are just a much better way to erase things. You can just click on the little icon on the bottom right hand corner here which says add layer mask and how a layer mask works, it works with your brush tool. So if you paint in black it erases and then you can press X to swap your color swatches to the white and then you can paint in white. If you didn't know that, X swaps the little color swatches down here, you can see them changing. 
So you paint in black to erase and then paint in white to fill it back in. To save a document, you can just hit Control S and then to save as, you can just hit Control Shift S to save as and then you can save the file as a PSD which retains all of the layer information and all the editing for Photoshop. Otherwise, you can just save it as a flat photo like a PNG or a JPEG as well. So that's it. That's how to learn Photoshop in five minutes. Obviously, there's a lot more to learn than what I just showed in this video, but what I showed were just some great things for any beginner to know, and you can start creating and editing photos straight away with the tools that I've shown you. So if you'd like another Photoshop tutorial but longer, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to make another one. But if you're wanting to learn some more specific effects or watch some other tutorials, I've got tons on my YouTube channel. I upload multiple tutorials every week. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. So as always, have an awesome day, everybody. It's been Julian or Flow Graphics here. See ya.